birds are chirping, they're singing because it's a lovely day. Today is also the second day of summer. Summer in New York City is glorious. Oh, we gotta make max out as best we can. It's one of the longest days of the year today, so what better day than to take you around to some of the best places in the city to drink and eat outside. We're gonna do it all in Queens. So we're starting right here in Astoria. We're gonna get something in our stomachs first, but we're gonna take you to some old school and new school spots. We're not gonna tell you what they are yet. You just gotta stay tuned and watch. Let's do this. So eating outside means lots of street food. So we're gonna start here in Astoria with some Greek street food. You know, we've taken you on a tour of Greek Astoria before. Check out the video right up here. We're gonna put a card there. Ooh, it's gonna be a different spot than any of the places we took in the video. And we also got our Fredo Cappuccino, the iced Greek Cappuccino right here. It's hot out, it's perfect. Mm. Let's go. Pida, aka the Suvlaki Lady. It's a famous Suvlaki cart here in Astoria. So we're starting off here with the classic pork Suvlaki, just with lemon, salt, and oregano. That's the way to get it. And we're also waiting on something else. We'll show you in a second. But let's take a bite of this delicious classic Suvlaki. Mm. Oh, it's so nice and juicy. You really taste the lemon. Not too salty, it's got the right amount of salt in it. The oregano, but the meat's nice and well marinated. Good stuff right here. So, summertime, you think barbecues, right? But we don't have access to a backyard, so we have the next best thing. We're at the cart. So, we got here, we got susukakia. My yaya, my grandma, she made it stewed with tomato before, but this is minced meat. This is actually grilled like kebab. So, this one looks more like a Middle Eastern style kebab, which makes sense because it actually has some. Asia minor roots to it. So let's take a look. I never had this grill before. Let's try it out. It smells really good. R really nicely grilled. A lot of herbs here. Let's take a look. Mm. Oh, wow. So many herbs and spices in here. It's very fragrant. It's very moist and tender. Oh man. This is like a meatball on steroids right here. Mm. It's got that crispy outside. The inside is so, so tender. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was just in Athens a few months ago. Which Junico sauce? tomato, yeah. This looks good. It's either on the grill or inside the sauce. Yeah. How about you? Where are you from? The Saloniki. Oh, the Saloniki. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been yet. I don't want to go. It's a beautiful city. Looks like it. Yeah. of summer drinking outdoor places here in New York City focusing on in Manhattan Brooklyn but today we're just focusing in Queens because right. this is our home borough that's right we are outside the oldest beer garden in New York City Bohemian Hall the Czech beer garden it's over 100 years old it's a classic I grew up right down the block from here my neighbor growing up was Czech she will come here many years so we're gonna show this to you. It's very popular. It's awesome. This is the spot you want to check out. You want to go to Beer Garden? This is the real deal right here. Let's do it. All right, so we are here at the Bohemian Hall Beer Garden. This place is awesome for many reasons. It's the most classic beer garden in New York. It's family friendly. You can go out with your friends. It's you have all ages here. As a matter of fact, there's a big children's party right next to us going on right now. It's a great spot to watch sports. Copa America is going on right now. There's some Brazil and uh, Peru fans here. Uh, this is a classic spot. World Cup gets wild here, especially for a lot of the European teams, a lot of the South American teams. You know, we have that heavy contingent here in Queens. You know, we're very diverse. Without further ado, let's take a sip of our drinks. I got rose cider. I am not a beer person. I love my red wine. It's a beer garden, so we'll say cider it is. Yep. I got a Czech bar. It's a Czech beer here. Had to go with a Czech beer at this beer garden. Why not, right? So, salud. In Czech, nazdrovi. Nazdrovi. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 
That's good. Mm, oh, smooth, refreshing. Yeah. That was fun at the beer garden. Yep. Now we're trying to catch our ferry. Yeah, we're catching the ferry, taking the scenic route over to Long Island City to our next spot. But the ferry, we're going to be talking about it. I'm going to show you the beautiful views. This is the Astoria Ferry right here. Love the scenic route. See ya. Day like today, a beautiful summer day. Yes, it is summer. We're so happy about that. But a beautiful summer day like today, you can catch the bridges, the skylines, just take in some sun. Some vitamin D is good for you. And what's cool about the ferry too, if you wanted to drink, they do have beer and wine on board. But we're gonna drink some more, and we already drank a little before, and we're only going two stops. We're not gonna do that now, but this ferry is awesome. Awesome. It was the quickest way to get from Astoria to Long Island City. Well, this is still Yeah, it's Long Island City. So the end trains had so many issues over the past few years as Astoria residents will know very well. So it's not even running between the Astoria and Queensboro Plaza in Long Island City. So this is the fastest way to get here. And it's the most scenic and enjoyable, especially the weather like today. So now we're going to head to our next drinking spot, which will also have some food. I'm Ooh, excited for it's this. It's one of our favorites, yes. It's got a great view of the city. That's enough. Just, hold on, I'm going to show you all the good stuff. Oh, it's so sunny. I love it. We're currently at Animal Basin. It's a beautiful, beautiful outdoor place in Queens and it's the best place to drink and eat and look at the scenic, beautiful skyline of New York. I would like to take the credit of introducing this place to Greg five years ago. This, is, this has been the place every summertime, outdoor drink for the last five years. So it's cool by Animal Basin. I believe it's the only spot on the water where you can drink in this kind of setting. It's it's cool. It's like it's a small, low-key joint. It's been there for several years. You get this beautiful view of the city. You got some stuff on the grill. We ordered something very special. You're gonna see what it is in a second. We got some beer on draft. This was cool. It's a it's a very low-key spot. It's not it's not uh, it's not a pretentious kind of place. It's very chill. You see, you got people here all ages. You got kids, you got families, you got younger people. It's a cool spot. And this part of Long Island City is cool too. It's a little more low key than the other part of Long Island City further south that has the bigger buildings. So this is a spot we like just to chill in the summertime. This is a good spot in Queens if you want a view of the city, if you want some drinks, come to Animal Basin. Bring your pets, your dogs, kids. It's a very nice place to yeah. get drunk. <laughs> and to enjoy the scenic New York City skyline. Cold beer in the summertime. Not much better than that. Ooh, straight off the draft, too. And what this means, our food is ready. So, another cool thing about Animal Basin, they got a lot of stuff on the grill. They got your basics. They even have stuff like bison burger, but they have something very special. It's called shivapi. So, shivapi, for those who don't know, is a Balkan skinless ground meat sausage. And it's often found in Bosnia and other countries in the Balkan region too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so they 
that the ground meat sauce is fresh off the grill and they put it in this flatbread that's also been griddled. It's called lepinja. So it's got a nice little crisp on the outside. And on the side they give you raw red onions and ivar. It's a red pepper spread. We're hungry, we love it. It's, again, it's like if you, if you don't have a backyard for a barbecue, come to a place that's gonna grill some food for you. And that's what we did. Beer and barbecue, not our own backyard, but this is better. <laughs> Do this, let's get a bite. It's gonna grab this thing right here. Look at that. <laughs> Try a bite by itself first before I add some sauce. Ooh. It smells mm. so good. Mm. These are really nice. They're, they have a nice crisp on the outside from the grill, but they're still juicy. I like these aren't aggressively spiced. You taste the meat. I believe this is beef. Sometimes they do a mix of beef and veal. Sometimes a little lamb, but usually it's beef and veal. This is a beef one. So now, I'm gonna add some of the Ivar. I'm just gonna just dip it. And now we got some of the Ivar on the outside, that red pepper spread. Let's take a bite of that. Mm. Oh, I like that. You look at that red pepper spread, you're gonna think it's gonna be spicy. It's not at all. It's got that roasted bell, red bell pepper flavor. That roasted red bell pepper flavor is nice. It complements it well. This is not gonna be some aggressively spiced. It's just simple, done well food. And this bread is very pillowy. I like that. It's light, but it's still pillowy. Let's take a look at that there. Mm. Now I'm gonna add a little bit with some red onions. And a little bit with the Ivar too. We'll go with the hands, you know us. We're not shy to use our hands. Now what those red onions do, that red onion will add a little bit of a kick and it adds some crunch to it too. It's the whole package. This is great. So it is my turn to eat. Greg left me a tiny piece. <laughs> well, he left me a lot, but... It ain't all. A lot of it is for you. Ain't that what summer all about? Summer's all about beer and barbecue, am I right? Transported to our favorite, ultimate favorite food market in New York City, Queens International Night Market. The third stop of the day, we're gonna eat and drink here outdoors. A whole video on the Queens Night Market last year in the fall. Should be up here. Click it if you like to see the crazy food roundup. But we had to just include this on the best places in Queens to eat and drink outdoors. I mean, look at this. It's the best food market in New York City. We got over 50 vendors here every week from all over the world. We got new ones. We got some new ones here tonight too. We're trying a Cambodian vendor. You can't get Cambodian food here in New York City. It's very hard to find. You got to go to Philly to get it. And now you can drink anywhere in the spot as long as you have a snazzy wristband. So you can walk around, you can sit on the grass like a picnic. That's what's cool too. You don't have to go to a park for a picnic. You can just come right here, Queens Night Market, picnic, get all the food you want, get your wine, get your beer. Everything is just five or six bucks. You can't beat it here. This is the spot. It's family friendly. You get the, one of the most diverse crowds in the city. You get all types of people coming here. It's amazing. Here on the grass, folks, we got one of the newest vendors here at the night market. Cambodian vendor here. And this dish we actually had in Cambodia back in 2015 when we visited Siem Reap. This is called fish amok or amok fish. Oh, it smells good. Look at that. It's got that curry, that orange color. It looks like there's some chopped peppers, there's coconut milk. Let's try it out. We got some rice. Rice is life. Jumi's excited from behind that camera, I guess. I know it. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, that coconut curry, kaffir lime leaves in there. Oh yeah, you know we love those kaffir limes. Yeah. So of course, the Burmese bites didn't have the crazy lines normally have, so we had to get it. It's always good. We got our favorite kima palata right here. Oh, we got that curry flavor coming out, and that chicken. Chicken is just bursting with flavor right there. I am most especially excited about the dessert. This is from our friend Nigel. Hello, Moon Man. Look at that. So pretty. Mm, so delicate. Wow. Like that coconut. So powerful. That coconut. We love coconut. It's really good quality coconut. Okay. A little saltiness there too. I like that. 
I got the little tapioca, looks like caviar, which should cost a few grand, but just five bucks. All right, folks, we have come to our last stop of the day, and I'm really exhausted. Yeah, go to this hotel. We're gonna, we're gonna check in. I'm pretty tired, but Jumi is exhausted. We'll check out this hotel. Not really, but <laughs> we got this last stop here. We're gonna class it up a little bit here, folks. New York is known, especially in the summertime, for this that we're gonna check out right now. You can see in a few minutes what that is. I will take you there. The entrance to this place is actually, uh, it's a weird entrance, interesting. The first time we've come here, it was, we were like, we felt we were lost, but now we'll show you how to get here. Yeah. Press C lounge elevator, and you go in the elevator like this. <laughs> I gotta press the button again. <laughs> have many rooftop bars except when you get to Long Island City there's a couple of rooftops of hotels there so and this is on top of a hotel too but Flushing is the only one we know of so far that might change the next few years Flushing's changing very fast but the beautiful thing about this rooftop is that you get the view of the city unobstructed there's nothing in the way like when you get closer to the city in Queens by new buildings say Long Island City and then you get to see City Field if you're a Mets fan if you want to check that out too planes coming in LaGuardia like this. And you get the hustle and bustle of Main Street Flushing. Salud. This is Chocho San. It's, I love how friggin' that lemon hits you right away. It's lemon rind in here too. The amaretto comes in underneath too. But you get that tanginess from the lemon, but it's a little sweet too. Oh, it's really perfect summer drink. Let's look at this view. Exhausted, even. We made it, we made it. Yeah, so we hit up four spots to eat and drink today from Astoria to Long Island City to Corona to Flushing. And we had our little Greek food to start. So it was cool. Let's just go to show you Queens. It's like we had a nice mix today of some old school, some new school, some high end, some chill. That's what Queens is all about, right? Queens is all about diversity. We love to showcase it to you. So it's a beautiful time. It's summer in the city. We encourage you to come out and enjoy it. If you're in New York City, Manhattan is cool, Brooklyn is cool, come to Queens too. And give Queens some love. Definitely, we deserve it as a borough. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button as always, and subscribe, hit the bell. You wanna be the first to comment, right? Yes, you do. Thanks for watching, peace. It was a bad decision to untie my hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Where'd you see us? So talking about not pretentious, we're sitting in chairs that I feel like I sat in in elementary school in Astoria over here. To the silver, it's cool. It's just like they're making use of what they got here. Yeah, I feel like I'm in school, but school would be a lot cooler if we had beers like this, right? <laughs>